Hey guys, I want to tell you about an incredibly cost-effective advertising technique that's now av available for car dealerships, where traditionally Facebook's had this process available for uh, e-commerce and very savvy online retail companies. Now it's a tool that we can tap into, very cost-effective, great way to sell used cars. And I'll walk you through a little bit of how it works and what it looks like. It starts out by just creating an audience of people who are searching for cars in your market who are not necessarily coming by your website yet. So it's a way that Facebook can determine that people are searching for cars, but it's time for us to uh, introduce your inventory to them. It starts out by tapping into your inventory feed to create the, the updated inventory in the creative of the ads, as well as tapping into your website traffic to see once people come by the website, now they're really in market and they know who your dealership is. So from an example, just to how to create an audience, or what it looks like, we've got 211 million monthly active users that are on Facebook. So 211 million people that we can target in the United States. So let's narrow that down to make it more cost effective. So this is an example of a store in Austin, Texas, where I live. We've got 1.5 million people in a 50 mile radius that we could target. Let's narrow that down to the 46,000 people who are max in market for a used truck. And this is an eight mile radius of a store here. So we can start connecting with them with what's called dynamic prospecting ads. And I'll show you an example in a second. And you can narrow that down further to the 4,000 hypothetical people who've come by your website and looked at a truck. And then we can get them with, with the retargeting version of those ads. So we know what they're looking at. They, we know that we're not introducing your dealership now. They're familiar with us. And all these people, they're on Facebook. Those 211 million people in the US, an average of 15 to 20 times per day. So we have a lot of opportunities to get back in front of them with your inventory. So here's an example of what the ad could look like. They're on Facebook looking at their friends and their family. And we're able to determine that they're in market for a used car. And this is just a generic ad that has all the inventory, but people can, people can thumb through and just look at the cars that are on your lot. And once we get some more detail about them, we can find out things like, okay, they're truck intenders and 46, there's 46,000 of them in this eight mile radius. So let's create an ad campaign of just trucks or they came by the website already so we know uh, we can start connect, reconnecting with people to get them into the store. Uh, here's what it looks like as far as making another product set to say, okay, let's target people that uh, are looking at trucks and then they've looked at more expensive trucks so we can say greater than $16,000 or we can say under $5,000 if uh, it's people looking at the more affordable cars. So just giving them relevant uh, inventory to what they've been searching for. Next step to kind of completing the circle to measuring the ROI on these ad campaigns is called offline conversion tracking. This is where you can upload uh, all of your sales from the previous month and you can cross-reference those with your Facebook ad dashboard. It'll tell you which sales came from uh, or which sales were exposed to an ad on Facebook, helping you have a, a clear attribution on uh, the return on ad spend. Any questions? Reach out to me, Andrew at dealeromg.com. Thanks.